Yeah, I think the team's definitely come a long way from when we started in late January. Um, I think, obviously, we had a rough start to the season. But, I mean, from past seasons with other MLS teams and especially with us, you know that even if you don't start off well, you can still end strong because of how the format is in MLS. So um, pretty much getting into the playoffs, you give yourself a chance to, to do great things. So I think, obviously – Progressing throughout the season, we got we got better every, with every game, and I think by the end we were we were one of the best teams in the league, and uh, our standing showed that. So um, obviously, yeah, ended earlier than we wanted, but at the uh, at the end of the year, we look back at it as a, a positive season. New York City for you got to play the majority of the time in your preferred position, the spot where you played the majority of your career. Just how did that help you this year feel more comfortable and confident out there? Yeah, it's nice when you can sort of uh, get into a groove playing in the in the same spot week to week. Um, yeah, I think obviously, like you said, it's my preferred position. So obviously, I'm happier when I'm playing there. Um, regardless, I'm I'm always happy to be on the field. But obviously, when I'm playing on the right, I can sort of work on things week to week um, and sort of sort of just keep getting better. Um, taking in what the coaches sort of are telling me, being able to watch video, and then obviously executing it on the field. So, um, yeah, obviously, as a, I enjoyed it a lot more this season, being able to be there. There was a lot going on from having a good season to the end just off the field. What was it about this group that was able to really shut that out and end up playing some of the best soccer we saw from you guys all year? Yeah, I think we have a, a very tight-knit team. Um, it's been like that since the beginning, you know, through hard times. The players have never changed through through the whole season, uh, regardless of whatever was going on, front office, coach, the players never changed. We always just stuck with each other and uh, just, just kept pushing throughout the season. And uh, we just knew as long as we had each other, we'd be all right. How difficult was it for you and some of the younger lads who like have, been, have only been around a couple of years to kind of experience that kind of off the field stuff? Because I, mean, I don't know if that kind of thing has ever really happened to you guys at soccer training. Yeah, it definitely hasn't happened <laughs> to me. Um, it's honestly, it was just a little weird. It wasn't like we were like crushed going out to training, like just feeling sorry for ourselves about any of it. We sort of, like I said, we just kept going. Um, we sort of just tried to block that out, just uh, as like side noise, and just we knew we had a job, and our job was to go out on the field every day and uh, perform on the weekends, and um, obviously work hard throughout the week for uh, for Freddie or Tyrone, whoever it was. Was there on the day, and uh, yeah, as long as we just worked hard and throughout the week and performed on the weekend, nothing else mattered. Uh, a year ago, you actually interviewed you know, Bud Dyer with Mike, and you said, you know, just kind of coach, not to say, do this, but like next year we'll work on this. With the uncertainty of who's going to be in charge, does that make it a little bit, I guess, strange to take a second interview when you're really going into the offseason because you don't really know what to expect from yeah. the team yet? Yeah, definitely a little strange. Um, Obviously, you'd like to go into your exit sort of with your coach who you know you're going to have next year. And obviously, at this point, we're not 100% sure about that. So, um, yeah, like you said, it definitely is strange. But um, at the end of the day, it doesn't really affect anything. We're going to come in next year. And whoever's coach, we're going to we're gonna work hard and listen to them. And like I said, outside of that, nothing else matters. Is there anything you in particular want to work on for the next year or two things you think – you could be better at and then also just bigger picture the team to make it over that next hurdle yeah for me nothing specific really I think I got to keep getting better at everything um obviously I want to get better defending better going forward um become a better leader throughout the team um as the years go on I'm sort of becoming one of the older guys believe it or not um it's sort of weird having all these young guys here now when last year coming in I was the youngest one so, um, yeah, just keep progressing in, in every aspect of my game um, individually. And then as far as the team goes, I think being more consistent throughout the year and uh, definitely being better away from home, learning how to grind out those results. I think this year we were able to build on the year before and uh, sort of we want to just we want to keep going on that. And, yeah, definitely be more consistent on the road and, uh, yeah, just everything as a team as well. I 
week one that's all the way through week 34. There's just a difference in the care and the mood when you can kind of see that finish line. But now understanding that, hey, some of those draws that could have been wins if we had, you know what I mean? Just that intensity that you get naturally as the season is coming to an end. How do you translate and make that there from the get-go? Yeah, exactly. We need a... We need to sort of be able to look back at how we feel right now at the end of the year. Because at the end of every year, you're looking back, you look at certain results. You're like, San Jose could have been a win. Um, there's a couple more. Dallas at home early on. Obviously, all the all the games early on, the, especially when we were getting all those red cards and stuff, they're sort of tough when you look back at them. And you're like, if we were more disciplined, we could have we could have probably got a result here. Um, so, yeah, obviously, looking back at results uh, at the end of the year, it always hurts. So I think going into the next year, we see sort of need to just uh, sort of just remember how we felt looking back at the results being like, damn, if we won two more games, we could have been second place. Um, so, yeah, and obviously home field is huge, like you said. Um, we're pretty dominant at home. Um, so, yeah, it's huge. But um, obviously, we got to sort of learn how to bring the playoff mentality to every game throughout the season. And obviously, it's hard sometimes with how long the season is. But, uh, yeah, I think if we can do that better next year, we'll be successful. Last year, or last offseason, um, you know, they brought in Sam and they brought in Ederson and they had picked up Donnie. And um, obviously, those were kind of positions that seemed like you guys needed to make some bold saves. And um, with this offseason coming up, um, do you still think that maybe there are some guys that can come in and not I mean specifically but other people that can come in that can make this team even better to kind of build on what you guys did this year or do you think that like it should the core should kind of stay intact you said it the core should definitely remain intact um I love the team we have here right now and I think um as long as we just keep working on what we were we were doing this year we can obviously translate it to next year to be even better um and that's the whole purpose of having a team. You sort of you want the same team going into the next year to sort of be able to build on the year last year. Because if you bring in all new players, you're sort of having to go back, sort of learn new stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I think we can use extra depth at certain positions. I don't necessarily think we need new guys, but um, obviously we only have two natural outside backs. I mean, Donnie, which makes it tough. Um, so I think just having depth at positions is most important. I don't think we necessarily need new guys in any sort of position. Um, I think we were pretty successful in everything we did this year with the guys we had. So, um, obviously, like I said, I love this team. And um, if we're sort of able to have the same core next year, that'd be great.